you. You're ruining men. And I know for a fact some women don't care because I ask women out all the time. Yep. I say that women are pretty. I tell them they're pretty. I told a girl the other night, she was working very hard. She's a very pretty girl from Ireland, and she was working very hard. And I came out. I said, you have to tone it down. You're way too pretty to work this hard. And she loved it. (laughs) I didn't go on to fondle her in any way whatsoever. I went out and had my cigarette, and then I went to bed. You have to know your limits, guys. That's right. (laughs) If they enjoy your little uh, flirtatious comment, that doesn't mean please fuck me. They just, it means I enjoyed your flirtatious comment. Now go away or do whatever you were doing. It Stop it there. It doesn't mean I want to fuck you. In fact, 99.92% of the time, it doesn't mean that at all. They don't want to fuck you. They're just laughing at your joke. So if you yeah. get away with it, I, yeah. the next stop is isn't rape. Uh, if you if you if, now if you're like me and you're charming and funny and handsome, and you can get away with these things because of that, you have to know where your line is. And touching is a line now. Always probably was, but now it definitely is. There's no uninvited touching. I don't care what it is. Don't pat them on the shoulder. Don't ruffle their hair. Don't tie their shoe. That walk up from behind and give them a shoulder massage. Oh. No, that's never. If That one was always creepy as fuck. I don't care. My ex-wife told me about when her boss did that one time to her. I almost fucking drove up there and put him in his grave right then and there. Yeah, no, don't ever do that. Don't massage anyone ever. It's just a good rule. But if they're in the bedroom and they're... They ask you, hey, could you please massage me in this one very specific area? Then it's okay, but pretty much save it for till you're married. Yeah. Don't ever just volunteer a massage. It's gross and gross. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like that. Um, I, coming from a guy who wanted to be a massage therapist, I do. I hate the I hate the sensation. I, I totally, actually I'm not a fan of receiving massage myself. I like no. giving them, but I'm not a fan of receiving. Them. I can't stand it. I hate it. It makes me feel terrible. I don't like it. Every story starts the same way. I'll just do a little bit till Sunday And now I don't even know who I am Not that I ever really did Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice. The opinions contained within are solely those of the interviewers and interviewees and should be received as so. Those seeking help or advice are encouraged to obtain professional legal and medical services.